Hi everyone, and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be testing to see if cinnamon is a good rooting hormone and can help our plants to propagate. In our last propagation race, we tested honey, and we learned that a lot of the information on the internet is just plain wrong. I'm super excited to see if cinnamon can help our plants. So let's get started. Once again, I'll be using tomato plants to take cuttings from, removing these new stems, and I'll be using tap water inside of my reservoirs. I'm gonna be using this particular cinnamon. It claims to be organic and Vietnamese. I don't think that matters, but nonetheless, this is what I'm using. You'll wanna make sure you're using ground powder and not cinnamon sticks. I'm also going to compare the cinnamon to Propagator. It's produced by Future Harvest, and it is plant food for roots, a real product designed for this exact purpose. To get these stems ready to propagate, I'll be shortening them so that they better fit inside of my reservoirs. I'll be removing some of these upper leaves and cutting away any flowers that might already be growing on the plant. Flower production takes a lot of energy and I want these plants to focus on root production. I'll be cutting the bottom of each stem at a 45 degree angle to help maximize the surface area and give the plant the most access to water. I'm keeping each of these stems in pairs in accordance to where they were taken from the mother plants. Stems from higher up may root slower than stems taken from lower on the plant. Right now, I've got regular old tap water in each of these jars. I'm gonna set up a few controls to test the cinnamon plants against. For my cinnamon treated plants, I'm simply gonna be dipping them into my cinnamon, stirring it around to try and get a good coat on there. We ended up with a centimeter or so of cinnamon coating the bottom of this stem, and I will move it into a reservoir. I'm gonna repeat that same process for my next two stems trying to be consistent in the amount of cinnamon I apply to each stem. For my comparison against the propagator nutrients, I'm gonna maintain that dip and swirl technique for my cinnamon treatment. For my propagator plant, I'm gonna be adding one milliliter of these nutrients into my reservoir, adding the plant, and we'll see how these compare. I'm gonna set these plants up near a window where they'll have access to indirect sunlight. I don't want direct sunlight as that may dry out the leaves before the plants are able to root. I'm gonna rotate these plants every day, trying to keep things super fair and make sure our results are reliable. Looking in on these plants, it appears as though the cinnamon coating is coming off a little bit in some cases but the majority of it is stuck to the bottom of these stems. We rejoin these plants on day five and we already have early root growth. Looking in at our first water control, we can see a number of small roots beginning to develop at the base of the stem. Our cinnamon plant does not appear to be growing as quickly. The cinnamon has begun to come off of the stem of this plant and we don't see any root growth at this time. Our second cinnamon plant has a different story. You can see that these roots are beginning to grow and spreading themselves upwards along the stem. Our second water control showed no signs of root growth and neither did our third cinnamon plant. Our third water control is by far the furthest along in its root development multiple roots growing and you can see they are beginning to extend themselves out away from the stem. In the cinnamon versus propagator plants, the cinnamon has yet to show any signs of rooting, but the propagator plant is beginning to grow nicely. We rejoin these plants on day number eight and all of them have shown considerable root growth. Here we have one of our water controls you can see that the roots on this plant are between an inch and three inches long. This plant looks really great and is more than ready to be transplanted into soil or some sort of hydroponic nutrient solution. Our second water control looks good. 
as does the third. On the cinnamon side, these plants have more than caught up to the water control counterparts. You can see that these roots are equally as long as the ones we saw on the water plants, and there's considerable growth up along the stem. The lower roots are very similar in size, but that extra growth up on the stem gives a trophy to the cinnamon plants. Putting these plants in order of best to worst root growth, we have a cinnamon plant in first, another cinnamon plant in second, a water control coming in in third, and then a tie in fourth between a cinnamon and water plant with another water plant coming in in sixth. I think the cinnamon has clearly added some benefits to this propagation process and is a clear winner in this race versus the water controls. In the comparison to the propagator nutrients, both of these plants have rooted nicely and are very similar in terms of root development. I'm super surprised to see just how effective the cinnamon was in helping these plants propagate, going so far as to compete with an actual propagation product. 